What's up guys, Andrew from Silver City Reef here. Um, so a while back I won a giveaway on Instagram for a mini complete tank. Yesterday it finally showed up. So I figured as excited I was as I was to open it last night, I held off and decided I would wait and show you guys what comes in the box. Now I'll also be showing you as I set it up, but I'm not sure when exactly I'm going to do that. I have some water. Um, I have the RO running now to try to make some water, so I may get to it today, I may not. I'm also not sure where I want to put it yet. So, anyways, without any further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, I these were rolled up and just attached to the side of the box. I did take them off just to see exactly what they were. So this is the heater. Now, I'm not sure if you can use this style plug. Um, it did say on the website that it was a Chinese plug. So, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research just to make sure that that's safe. Now, it also came with, looks like a 60 mil syringe. And it did come with some long uh, rounded tip tweezers, but I already needed to use those for something today. So, those are not over here. Now this appears to be, I think it's instructions regarding the heater. Yes, it is. So, um, obviously we should probably take a look at these. And it may answer our question regarding the Chinese plug. Now, let's get to the part we all want to see. So. As you can see, it's in a nice basic box, but one thing I did like was how everything was packaged. Um, it was very well secured, as you can see, you know, lots of styrofoam, lots of bubble wrap. First thing you're going to see, let's start with this side. Here's the light, which looks pretty nice, looks like they sent me white. So it's a very lightweight. I'm kind of curious what it's going to put out for power. Um, when I do end up getting a Senai, which will hopefully be within the next couple months, I'd be curious to see what it actually puts out for par. I've asked around and nobody seems to have an answer for me. So next up uh, looks like the USB power supply for the light. Let's just pull out. So here's the sump. As you can see there's some slots for power cords. And right here we have the top. So it has a little handle and lips kind of thought it would sit in the grooves. Anyways, and that's empty. Um, so first impressions, I would say everything looks good. Really clean cuts and uh, I mean obviously it does look like there's a little grime where they broke it off but 
we could probably just wash that right off obviously you're going to want to wash it before you use it anyway now I'm gonna have to move this so the box is gonna tip over so here we have the let's see we have the weir this looks like a baffle looks like two baffles and these I believe are the connections and there's also little guards for the overflow now this is just a low power USB light this would be good for you know probably at night when you're just trying to check on things or to try to put more light on something to get a better look now here we have the pump I'm gonna take this out and actually grab a tape measure because I feel like on camera you can't really tell how small this is so that was a fail I took the whole phone tripod and everything with me because obviously I'm connected by the mic so the length is an inch and a half and the height without the rubber feet is an inch and an eighth with the rubber feet looks like an inch and a quarter and the width looks like uh, let's go with the widest point so the widest point is an inch and a half now obviously that's a really small output I will um, get you guys the size of the output in case you are wondering but I can't get it right now I'd have to go get my micrometer but uh, I will post it below so wow that is a that is a really tiny tiny pump Finally, you have the acrylic tank itself. And there are some, let's see, it's a little more open piece of sponge where this is a tight black sponge. And then this just looks to be like some uh, filter floss. And I like how the bottom of it is frosted. I almost wish they frosted one side. Well, obviously, you'd want it to be the back side. And I would be right. It is actually... You can see there's a crack right here. Oh, that sucks. I mean, it is the return, but still, that's uh, that's really disappointing. Um, I think that's going to be an issue when it has water in it because it's going to want to drain through that crack. Plus, it's a bit of an eyesore, so I'm going to have to uh, send them a message and see if they're willing to send me another tank I guess anyways so here is where that connector would go that I showed you earlier these would go in there and then this would obviously be your overflow and you would put the wide baffle in and then I think just the small weir goes on top of that. So that would be the whole tank.
All right, guys. Well, that is the unboxing of the mini complete tank. Uh, looks like I am not going to be able to set this up probably anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to send them a message as soon as I'm done and see if I can get them to send me a tank that's not cracked. Uh, I know it was kind of a freebie with the giveaway but at the same time uh, I really was quite excited to use it and uh, I don't think that crack is going to allow me to use it correctly and get the full experience so anyways uh, if you guys were considering getting one they're really cool but I would wait to see my next video and I guess we'll see what happens whether or not they replace the tank or not and once I get it set up I'll have a better idea of how the equipment works how loud the pump is stuff like that and I will also hopefully know about the Chinese plug anyway thank you guys for watching and as always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this or to follow along on this build, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell.